When I did the first Pogatuba reacts back at the start of 2020, I never imagined it would come to this. What happens when Nuzlocke reacting goes too far? God, I love Nuzlocke. Pokemon Nuzlocke are not easy, as they're riddled with seemingly random impossibilities that have plagued me, Wolfie, Jaden, and several Pokecubers out there. But I'm several! <laughs> yes! What an incredible situation. I've been included. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Freeze all right, perfect. Is the one thing we all have in common. None of us are safe from him. <laughs> oh, but if you have a quick fly. So a couple things. Number one, you can play better. I feel like you do need a certain level of skill to pull off the cockiness like that. Oh, come on! Right, oh my god. Out, please, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. That's me. That's literally me. This is the reason that I recommend Fire and Leafkin for your first games, because even if you play like that, you can beat that game. This come that was a great intro. I love that. The way that it built <laughs> that it built up to the moment of the crescendo of here comes Yon to critique your Nuzlocke. Well, you could have played around that. Well, see, actually, what you should have done is use this item. Oh, what you're using items? That's not a hardcore Nuzlocke, but you can play the way that you want to because playing the way that you want to is very based and not cringe. Completely unknown YouTuber, Pokemon Challenges has apparently made a career from atop his tower built upon thousands of hours of Nuzlocking. And out of sheer spite, I set out on a journey to attempt the perfect Nuzlocke, not only to redeem my first run, but to prove that Nuzlocking is really easy. I've been looking forward to this video since I met Jacob and he talked about doing this. And I am so excited to see how the story unfolds because we all know that Yana in Pokemon Challenges is a pro Nuzlocke and that he's done a whole lot of critiquing over the years. Is it possible to make a video that is uncritiquable? A video that could not have been done better? Is it, po I don't know. willing Let's to be out. really boring. So I went and studied through all of the Nuzlocking resources I could, from the best starter, to the best team, to even this lonely wizard's personal preferences. I was ready now for God, the I f love cat boys. Water. So I grabbed Pokemon <laughs> Leaf Green and set out to complete the perfect Nuzlocke with everything he could ever ask for. And when I say everything, I mean... Oh. Everything. Oh, y finally! Yes! Finally, a good Nuzlocke. God, I've been waiting for one of these for years. Thanks for unpausing the video, Yawn. And now- Oh, I, <laughs> I'm not Yawn, but like- <laughs> <He's> <laughs> It's time to start the perfect Nuzlocke. Our journey starts oh, like any God. other. Named our player Alpha, named our rival Jan, and chose the best possible starter for Jan. our Nuzlocke. Oh, and this run is gonna feature a few custom rules. Ignoring the obvious ones, battle mode is on set, level caps are in play, and items are banned. So when it came time for our first battle, it sure happened. Wait, he's faster? It was a speed tie the whole- But that doesn't sound like a perfect- No, Slug doesn't to begin me. till you get balls. If you're watching on my channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. It helps out a lot. Make sure to subscribe. It- wait, did he just make a Rubber Ross reference? It helps out a lot. <laughs> if you're watching on someone else's channel who is shamelessly reacting to it, uh, leave them. Leave them. Uh, Come over uh, here. Uh, uh, Drop a uh, like. Leave no, a subscription. No, no, You're welcome. No, no, don't leave. be sure to let me no, know in the comments please, please. which channel you abandoned. Thanks. No, so on the next. No, God. Oh, well, there's no one watching the rest of the video. I guess, I guess that's it for me. I guess I can't react to anything anymore. No, but do go and subscribe to Alpha. You're already subscribed to Alpha Rad. And if you're not, what the fuck are you doing? Him. Seriously. What's wrong with you? You're that puny Charmander. And we set off to capture our first encounter a Rattata named Diddy Kong. And he has guts. Mankey's also a good catch, but essentially fodder for later. Then after catching Switch Sports the Pidgey, our team looked good. At this moment, I started thinking about what our team would look like for the Elite Four and came up with an- Alpha's playing with speed up, and speed up can cause many, many issues, many deaths. It's easy to misclick when you have speed up on. This cannot be a perfect Nuzlocke we have speed up on, Alpha. Yeah. Two separate teams. I'll start collecting the strongest encounters I possibly can in preparation for the end game, but then keep them safe in the PC in order to protect them while beating the rest of the game with, uh, well, whatever else I find. So I'm looking online, right? And I think our best catch would be a Pikachu, but there's only like a 5% chance of that. And it felt fitting to name this one Mudkip. Oh, what a no, coincidence! The first gym leader and we're under level. Wow. Whatever shall we do? Come that happened. Like the rare candy pill. Long story short, grinding is cringe and cheating is based. And Yo, true, so true. I've been saying this for years. Grinding, worst part of the game. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants to see it. Nobody cares. This rock fight will be brought to you by Honey. If you don't have one of the starting sweepers, this is the hardest fight of the early game. But well, luckily, I have the best of the best. 
Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur's Vine Whip can one-shot Brock's Geodude and Onyx. However, he leads with Geodude, which allows for the potential Bulbasaur sweep. Sort of how Honey allows you to save money by pressing a single button at the top of your browser. Wow, incredible. Will automatically searches for promo codes so you don't have to. I need to hit the enemy Geodude so it can die a quick and painless death, and I achieved that by playing the game as intended. Almost I wonder if Alpha can use the views from all of the reactions to this video as more leverage for sponsorships in the future. I'd be like, hey, my video got this many views, but also got reacted to, so everyone else saw the Honey promotion in their videos too. Hmm? Well, that's convenient as Honey, which works on most of the sites you're already using. Since I know it you're does? buying things online, why not save some money while doing it? Are you oh my really goodness! Act like you don't feel a bit of a rush when saving a little money with Geo. I love saving money. Health. I can now safely continue using Bulbasaur and start my sweep. What really enables this is not just the insane damage output, but also Onyx's horrendous speed. Unlike Didn't we already do this? Honey, which saves you money near instantly. We right. can then take the free kill on Onyx. Okay. Here's a question. What does yeah. your own money and Funko Pop for the Bulbasaur have in common? Just saw it twice? That's right. Both can benefit from saving up to 10% off of buying Pokemon cards online. Of course. Rob then gives us our first gym badge, which made me really happy. Much like how you can make my sponsors very happy by going to joinhoney.com slash alpha rad or by clicking the link in the description to start using honey and start saving money today Thank i guess i'll go to join honey.com forward slash alpha nads to do that bulbasaur for enabling otherwise an incredibly hard to achieve zero death brock and thanks to honey for sponsoring <laughs> this video <clears throat> one I incredibly hard to achieve zero later and it's super it's difficult for encounter on a gifted magic card throughout mount moon we have to pick some key items but the cave itself went by fairly quick our next stop was cerulean city which features the second gym in a feared rival battle. And oh it's no. It's hard for where we're at. I know they open with Pidgeotto, but what do we have? Oh, we have Pikachu. So, this yeah, you're fine. isn't that bad now. We open with Pikachu. Actually, didn't think that far ahead. One by one, his team fell. Look, I know you want to see the YOLO, yeehaw, reckless gameplay that lost my randomized run, but don't worry. I'll start throwing for content again soon. But first, I need to prove how easy this baby game truly is. After a mere morsel of ch I mean, he's doing pretty well so far. I, I don't think he's lost a single Pokemon. I wonder if he'll lose a single Pokemon the entire run. It can't be perfect if you lose one, we were then it's not perfect. Misty's gym with the utmost of confidence. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Two badges down, and I was hungry for a third. But first, we had a Conquer Nugget Bridge, assist Bill in his fetish dungeon, and spring. You went to Misty before you did Nugget Bridge. Very brave. Very oh, because he just has rare candies, so why wouldn't you? Of course, <laughs> of course. Down to Vermilion City. In desperate need of a ground type for Lieutenant Level Surge, caps or nothing. A cave and unfortunately caught a duck tree who was well above her level cap. Uh, aboard SSN awaits a fateful battle for us. Not only is our rival ready to throw down, but this is the exact same fight where we lost our first soldier in the previous run. Oh, no, Mankey! This unharmed would not only show my growth as a trainer, but more importantly, my resolve to be the pettiest Nuzlocker imaginable. But this run is far from over. With the third gem in our immediate path, it was time to endure the worst fucking stupid bullshit goddamn puzzle ever conceived by man. See, a real Nuzlocker would just get it right the first time, like like I do every single time. So really, that's uh, that's kind of on you. That's a skill issue. And but before we were ready to battle Lieutenant Surge, we had to poison our beloved Eradicate, which might sound oh, odd. Oh, we're, hey, we're using strats so in guns. here, are we? I definitely lose in the speed. Wait, no, I don't. Okay, right, he's dead. It's almost like the Diddy Kong had like max IVs or EVs or something. Salute. You must got it pretty lucky on the EVs. To have like a strategy. So now it's time yeah. to pull up your search engine of choice and type in rock tunnel map. Oh, all right. So now we're out of there. You're welcome for skipping through that, by the way. After Thank God. I still need a map to get through to this day. I've been playing Pokemon for many, many years as a job for most of them. We're catching some less than exciting Pokemon. We made it to Celadon. I accepted the gifted EV and decided to box it immediately because if our final team has any significant Big man. weaknesses, we can just evolve it. Then after tearing through Erica's gym with one silly little bird, it was time to collect T the only way I knew how. Gambling! Yes! Oh, it's like my favorite Twitch channel! And we won't use them until the end because I remember what happened last time. Poor but hot now dog. it's time for the rocket hideout. And wow, that sure happened. Oh, and speaking of transitions, now we're in Lavender Town and fighting our rival. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, this is easy. So last run, I named Ghastly after a Pokemon of mine who has died. But if you look around, there aren't any deaths this run. So Flawless. let's ask after what really dies when you sweat this hard. Your will to live? Comedy. 
Right, that is true. I haven't told a joke in years. One dead mom joke later and the past has finally returned to haunt me. If you remember in my last run, Sabrina is where everything went horribly, horribly wrong. We'll never we forget. We a path built in arrogance while dismissing the That is beautiful art right there. At beautiful. The time, I thought I played to my outs, but- Fire- oh. Firus! Firus was the Lapras? Oh, oh my. how wrong I was. He has a almost unleveled Snorlax right here in the back who literally like clowns on this entire gym. Luckily this time, I had a plan. Uh, no friends. <laughs> but my actual plan was that our poison Diddy Kong was more than capable of overcoming Sabrina's entirely physically I mean, it's not gonna thing. outspeed so Alakazam, right? we face right? to face with the same Alakazam who took everything from us. I felt like the only way to protect the rest of the team was through our first sacrifice. But... You didn't even need to. I was willing wow. to sack it. But that's hilarious. That future side, our beloved Raticate was spared by the horrendous AI. We collect our fifth gym badge and the perfect Nuzlocke is still on. See, you can strategize as much as you want. You can spend as much time grinding. You can spend as much time using your Excel spreadsheets and your damage calculators. But really, what comes down to is, is the AI willing to let you have it or not? And today, They'll let him have it. Look, a master ball with <gasps> wow. deaths on the record. We were looking pretty good. We caught a Snorlax, collected a Super Rod, and Swift. Wait a minute, you already had a Snorlax. <laughs> it had a little catch symbol next to it. You already you had that. I saw that. We made it to our next victim, and that's the sixth gem with only one death. Oof, ah. Uh. God, I forgot Wait. to mention something. Wait, what? In Sylph Co, we unfortunately ran into our rival and a bit under-level two. So we Damn, sacrificed so our starter to make it out alive. Wait, and you're not gonna- you can't tell, I lost the footage. But Throw the whole video away. You lose your star and you can't find the foot. This plan served as Shame. a reminder. Nuzlocks are void of emotion. Pokemon are no longer friends. True. They are weapons. Yes. Machines of mass destruction. <laughs> Yes. I also think the Team Rocket was right. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Yes. You're relating to the mortal shell disassociated by emotion? It's all about victory. To sack a weaker Pokemon, but I had to send a message to the rest of the team. If the starter isn't safe, nobody is. This team works for me and not the other way around. There is one way out of this run, and it is through sacrifice. Our Safari Zone encounter is... Kangaskhan. And just Damn like it. that, the first piece of our Elite Four team Pop has revealed themselves. God, I love popcorn so much. I went to a movie yesterday, and I had so much popcorn. I had like 500 grams of popcorn. I had so much popcorn. I love popcorn so much, dude. One of the strongest weapons we could possibly ask for. So after running a few errands... A tier. Oh, my God. serendipitous happened to me on the way to Cinnabar Island. And by that... I mean, I got lost only after running into the encounter of a lifetime. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the Articuno. Why did I think it was going to be the Articuno? I don't know why I thought that. Of course, it's the Slowpoke. You just got it. I mean, that's CGs. I just thought got the strongest thing. I would be highlighted on Pokeball. And I knew if I pressed down once, it would give me a Great Ball. No. You're wrong. But the cursor was on Great Ball. You're wrong, Jacob. After making it That's to the crazy. Island, we revived Real Sport, the Aerodactyl, trekked through the Pokemon Mansion, and challenged Why is there so much sport? At this point of the run, I felt like it was fine to start playing carelessly. Losing Pokemon doesn't- Flop error! No! Wait, if your flop error dies, then is it technically the opposite of having a flop error? Or is it like having a super flop error where you really fall off? I don't know. Perfect run. Their presence is replaceable, and their deaths are forgettable. We True. only have two simple gems in our path, and in an Just entire sack team waiting in the wings for the Elite Four. If they weren't making it to the finale, why would I care about their well-being? So true. True Nuzlocke has built their team around the Pokemon that are going to die. There are designated deaths already built into the team when you go into a Nuzlocke fight. That's what the real Nuzlocke is doing. Each Pokemon we've caught so far serves one purpose and one purpose only. To, to die. me a champion. If all of these sacrifices are intended, then how is it any short of a perfect Nuzlocke? This is a binary scale. Winning is a binary state of being. There is no gray area. Either you triumph a hero or your story never gets told. Losers are not remembered. So when challenging the final a good gym, video though, right? masterful Slowbro quickly made works of everything Giovanni threw at us. He goes, yeah, that's great. I, I, I really agree with this. I mean, Slowbro is a fantastic Pokemon. It did win the Emerald Kaiser Nuzlocke for Yon, so he's going to be a big fan of that, I can tell. When you come prepared, it's that easy. With one more rival battle separating us from Victory Road, why, that's a single right you sacrifice away. Good thing these things can be oh so easily replaced. In fact, 
I would even call this an upgrade. Now it was time to display this our villain era is really going on. Access to this forsaken cave. And so I guess we can call the first Nuzlocke villains, the first Nuzlocke videos, the villain origin story for Alpha Rad into becoming an actual, genuinely evil content creator. The most fateful encounter yet. In case you're unaware, perhaps one of the most infamous moments of Nuzlocking history occurred in my last run, and the whole world laughed. So how fitting is it that this lone soldier was our final encounter? Unfortunately, our Elite Four team has already been perfectly molded as if God himself smiled upon it. All right, yeah, we got a Magneton, you got a Snorlax, Gyarados, you got Slowbro, Aerodactyl, you got the speed covered, you got bulk covered, you got all the typings covered. Well, not all the typings, they're actually repeating a water type right there. And I'm gonna be honest, your electro type resistances are a little lackluster. I'm, I'm just gonna stop this, I'm, just, I'm sorry. What if we took Onyx? Well, if I were to do that, it would be the pettiest move imaginable. Oh, wait. <sighs> And now it's that kind of solves a little bit of the electrotype weakness issue that you had. I mean, you had one immediate, now you have two. Time for the Elite Four. Yeah. Our first battle was against Lorelei. Magneton could execute the competition with exceptional ease until handing off the baton to Slowbro to finish the job. Rude. You know, technically in a hardcore Nuzlocke, you're allowed to level cap to the level of the highest Pokemon user, which is the champion at the end. So realistically, you could have went to like level 65, but then when that would have been at the end of the video, really boring. So I'm glad you didn't do that. Quickly challenged us, but unbeknownst to him, that would be the last task he would ever complete. Slowbro returned to the field unsatisfied he had to share the spotlight. So naturally, he exterminated the rest of Bruno's team. Upon hearing the news, Agatha did everything she could with her ghostly powers to stop us, but he was an attempt Ad of breaks. <laughs> from a third-rate trainer with a fourth-rate team. Her That's King a great Art name. Stage. But what can they really do against a Snorlax with Shadow Ball? Switching. I also really like the Duel Links reference right there. Third-rate trainer with a fourth-rate team. I caught that. I, I miss Duel Links. Spent so much money eventually, on it. Eventually, it was up to Nidoking King to speed this process along and leave Agatha and her team on the ground behind us. With one trainer remaining between us and the championship match, Lance better make this quick. Of course, dragons weren't going to be easy to deal with unless you were the hungry, hungry Slowbro, whose bloodlust has yet to be quenched. A few ice beams later, and Lance's last. Bro, he's losing it. <laughs> began to break and eventually collapse. It's time. It's finally time. A run built in redemption will soon come to an end. So the glasses were enough for the Elite Four, but I think we need oh, no. something. A little no, more no, the cat ears are right. back, Knowing baby! Knowing that rival was going to lead with Pidgeot, this seemed like a simple operation for Magneton. As expected, this would immediately drag out his ace, Charizard, uh -oh. who is four times weak to rock. Like, all he has to do is take one hit, and then watch. He's not going to take it. Activates. Quick. Did his quick lock just seriously activate immediately? Clack. It oh, it didn't even kill. Okay. Wow, so that's Onyx pathetic. Suck. Yeah, okay, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Base 45 attack, baby! Lower than Oddish! Let's go! Wow! Weaker than a weed! Yeah! After failing to redeem Onyx, which, let's be honest, we're never living that clip down, Gyarados soon cleaned up the mess of Charizard swiftly before dragging Rhydon down to hell with them. When presented with a creature made of paper bones and magic spoons, Snorlax delivered a finishing blow that would ring true for generations. Jan was getting. He, oh, he's not one yet. Never mind. <laughs> premature celebration. Sorry. <laughs> really? Is that all you have for us? This. Oh, this is embarrassing. You it's got Shadow Ball to too. Nice. <laughs> but you're not even playing around my crit range. Oh. <laughs> This is very well written. I see. You save your Gyarados for last. Out of sheer embarrassment. You know how this one goes, don't you? Yeah. And perfect. just like that. Well the done. Perfect Nuzlocke comes to a successful end. But is this the ending yes. that I truly wanted? If yeah. If I can be completely honest with you. Yeah, I still prefer using legendaries and losing. True, dude. True. What so much more fun. Hold on. What meme am I thinking of with Alpha Rad right now? It's this meme, but it's like Alpha Rad giving me another Nuzlocke video to react to. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the perfect Nuzlocke. I think that every other Nuzlocke should just quit immediately because nothing is going to be better than that. We have reached the peak of Nuzlocke and we now have to find something better to do, like Kaizo Ironmon, like I've been streaming on my channel. But anyway, once again, subscribe to Alpha Rad. What are you doing? Do it now.